Good morning and salam ibu pertiwiku. Chief Minister Dato' Pania Bang Zoritun Openg is confident that the annual Kuching Festival Fair is able to increase tourist arrivals to the state. He explained that as this year is Visit Sarawak year, he is confident that this fair will help increase the number of tourist arrivals from within and outside the country to come to Sarawak. He said this in his speech, which was read by local government and housing minister Dato' Dr. Sim Koi Hian at the opening ceremony of Kuching Festival Fair 2019 on Friday night. Abang Zori noted that as the tourism sector was one of the most important sectors in the country, it was necessary for all to cooperate to ensure this sector continues to thrive. He pointed out that when tourist numbers increase, it indirectly boosts employment among the people of Sarawak, especially those in small and medium industries. The annual event is also held to commemorate Kuching being inaugurated as a city 31 years ago, with this year's theme being Happy Kuching. Five schools in the state are among the first to be upgraded and rebuilt once the 350 million ringgit payment is allocated at any time this year. Education, Science and Technology Research Minister Dato Sri Michael Manin Jawang said the five schools had been agreed to by the meeting between its Ministry officials and the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Education. He did not disclose the names of the schools but said they were among the 415 poorest schools in the state. He added the Chief Minister has written a letter to the Ministry of Finance addressed to Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng and Abang Zori has agreed to pay the 250 million ringgit at any time and when this is done, upgrading works will commence. Dato Sri Michael Manjin said this when met by reporters after opening the KV Skills Competition and Student Innovation Summit organized by Kuching Vocational College in Kuching. Manjin said Sarawak had no problem repaying the 350 million ringgit from the 1 billion ringgit it was offering and was willing to settle the payments at any time. He further said the Sarawak state government has always put the trust in the federal government, especially in matters of education, whether it be the federal government under Barisan National or Pakatan Harapan. The new Deputy Police Commissioner of Sarawak, Dato Dr. Kumar M.M. Sri, has set his sights on improving the delivery services of the police force. He said he would try to overcome the challenges that they were facing in an evolving era and also to improve the integrity of the force. He was speaking to reporters after the handover of duties at Sarawak Police Contingent Headquarters in Kuching. No stranger to Sarawak, Dev Kumar was an investigating officer at the Kuching Central Police Station from 1982 to 1989 after having completed his police training in Pulapol, Kuala Lumpur. He takes over from Dato Palawan Muhammad Zuraidi Ibrahim, who reported for duty as Bukit Aman CID Forensics Data Bank DNA Strategic Planning Deputy Director on July 25. With support and commitment from the police headquarters here, Dev said he was confident that he would be able to shoulder the responsibility as Sarawak's second top cop. Well, that's all the updates for now. I am Radhi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.